what is deep intelligence? For us at Canon Medical, it encompasses many things. Introducing the Aquilian One Prism Edition. AI-assisted imaging is deep intelligence. Combining the power of our advanced intelligent Clear IQ engine with spectral deep learning reconstruction is deep intelligence. Being able to distinguish true signal from noise to deliver exceptional scans without compromising on speed and dose is deep intelligence. An integrated end-to-end -end spectral workflow that includes a 160 mm volume scan and an extensive suite of spectral analysis applications is deep intelligence. With the new Aquilian One Prism Edition, deep intelligence is integrated into every scan for every patient, now and long into the future. At Canon Medical, we strive to provide innovative CT solution that makes a meaningful impact to patient care. The Aquilion One Prism Edition is no exception. Designed for deep intelligence, Aquilion One Prism Edition uses AI-assisted imaging, including advanced intelligent clear IQ engine, that is AICD, and spectral deep learning reconstruction. Today, We'd like to introduce our latest update to the Aquilion One Prism Edition. Let's get started. Introducing Precise IQ Engine. Canon Medical's Super Resolution. Deep Learning Reconstruction for CT. Designed specifically to deliver sharp cardiac images. Overcome the challenges of coronary artery visualization in heavily calcified vessels. Trained by Canon's precision 0.25 mm ultra high resolution CT data. To improve visualization of cardiac stents and plaque. Experience improved diagnostic confidence with detailed and accurate images. One beat coronary CTA examinations with precise IQ engine. Simple, clear and precise. Powered by Altivity. Only from Canon Medical. Made for life. Hi, my name is Zhou Yu. I am the director of CT R&D at Canon Medical Research USA. We are the North American Research Center of Canon Medical System. Here we perform advanced research for next generation scanner technology. At Canon Medical, we have always been pushing the envelope of technologies. In the past, we introduced the first wide coverage CT scanner, allowing cardiac scan to be done with a single heartbeat. In recent years, we launched ultra high resolution CT the precision scanner, featuring 250 micron detector size at ISO center. And deep learning based reconstruction, AICE, allowing doctors to see through the noise and reduce patient dose. The question we always ask ourselves is what is next? How do we bring these technologies together and what can we enable this time? We came up with the idea to bring high resolution to wide coverage scanner using deep learning technology. The core technology of PEAK is deep learning based super resolution algorithm. Super resolution is a class of algorithms to increase resolution of imaging system. It has been used in our daily life from satellite imaging to digital photography. Traditionally, super resolution is done by oversampling and optical modeling and deep learning algorithms. Recently, with deep learning, we have seen an explosion of new advancement and a successful application of deep learning based super resolution. To develop super resolution algorithm for CT, we need three key ingredients. First, we need a high resolution training target. At Canon, we have unique access 
to ultra-high-resolution CT data from our precision scanners. The scanner is commercially available, allowing us to access real clinical data for training through our partners. The reconstruction of the target image incorporates system optics model that can maximize the resolution from our high-resolution scanner. Second, we developed advanced deep learning-based denoising algorithm to preserve the inherent resolution of the system. In CT, the enemy of high resolution is noise. To minimize patient dose, we often have to implement denoising algorithm that will also sacrifice spatial resolution. As a result, we rarely get the maximum resolution the system can provide. With deep learning reconstruction, we have redefined this resolution and noise trade-off. In peak, conventional denoising have been replaced with deep learning denoising, allowing this inherent resolution of the system to be expressed. Third, we developed an advanced neural network architecture. Our team has investigated many neural network architectures in the past. For PEAK, we developed a 3D neural network. Most people in the field today use 2D neural networks. The challenge is that it is hard to differentiate small features, like small vessels, from noise in 2D. With 3D neural network, the network has additional information from adjacent slices to differentiate these small features versus noise. With all the technical ingredients put together, it is also important to incorporate clinical knowledge into our development. In the end, it is the clinician who reads the image and makes diagnosis. To do that, we work closely with clinicians to understand the clinical use case, the image quality preference, and fine-tune our training target and training method to maximize the image quality. With all the efforts behind development of PEAK, we see great potential for PEAK to improve the quality of cardiac imaging by reducing blooming artifacts from calcium and stent, improving visualization of small vessels, and reducing noises. We are excited about this technology, and we look forward to see it being used in the field. Together, let us advance cardiac imaging for better patient care. I'm Dr. Marcus Chen. I'm the Director of Cardiothoracic Imaging at the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. If you're not familiar with the NIH, the NIH is the largest biomedical research facility in the world. Our goal is to improve healthcare for everyone. For the last 12 years, we've had a collaboration with Canon Medical to improve CT technology and image quality. Over the past 12 years, we've had five different Canon CT scanners. In 2009, we invested in the Aquilian One because we felt that the best way to image the heart was to image it at one time with wide volume technology. Being able to image the heart in one heartbeat has many advantages. In 2015, we had a prototype ultra high resolution CT system that had four times the resolution of a normal CT scanner and had a slice thickness of 0.25 millimeters. In 2020, we upgraded to the Aquilian One Prism, which has spectral imaging. Over the last year, through our cooperative research agreement with Canon Medical, we've been working on peak image technology. Peak uses ultra high resolution images as a basis to train the deep learning reconstruction to improve image quality and improve spatial resolution. What I'm most impressed with Peak is that it's as if you're wearing glasses for the first time. I can now see very fine detail. I can see small areas of calcification. I can see small stent struts, and I don't know what I've been missing before. Let me show you a case. In this right corner of the artery, there are multiple areas of calcified and non-calcified plaque. What I'm most impressed with Peak is its image quality. It has incredible sharpness and detail. The amount of blooming from these calcified areas are minimized with peak reconstruction. I want to highlight the high image quality with peak with the second case. 
Here is some areas of small spidey calcification that's really difficult to see on the traditional image. However, with PEAK, you can see these small, tiny specks of calcium. Spidey calcification is a high-risk plaque feature. And with PEAK, we're now better able to see these small details and provide better care to the patient and provide more prognostic information from a cardiac CT scan. I'm gonna share with you a third case, which involves a stent, which is always challenging to visualize. On peak imaging, we're now able to see the individual stent struts, whereas on the traditional imaging, it just looks like a blur. With peak imaging, we're now better able to visualize inside the stent and make a diagnosis whether or not a patient has instant stenosis. I've been very honored to work with Canon Medical in the development of PEAK. Overall, I think PEAK is an incredible technology. With it, I'm able to visualize smaller structures and be more confident in my diagnosis. It's completely integrated into our workflow. We don't have to wait minutes for these reconstruction. They're available in seconds. Because I'm able to see smaller structures more clearly, I know that I'm making better diagnosis and delivering better health care for the patient. The peak of the peak is the peak of the peak of the CT of the peak 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 of the えー、中に入れた、まあ、ステントとかのストラートなんかも非常に明瞭にペースすることができますし、まあ、冠動脈についた石灰化のブルーミングなどもかなり低下している印象です。で、えー、と今後は、まあ、まだ研究段階ではありますがソフトプラークの中の脂肪とかも病室の方が向上するんじゃないかと個人的には期待しています。今回の,あのピークはテクスチャーが非常に自然なテクスチャーでそれからまあノイズが非常に低下して見えますでノイズは特にですねあの低周波ノイズの抑制が強いんであの本当にテクスチャーが自然な感じで見えているというのが特徴だと思いますあの低周波ノイズがおそらく改善されるということは病変の検出の方が上がっている可能性が高いんで。まあ、そういう意味でもあの CT をよりというかあの診断の高いものにする技術かなと思ってます空間分解能のみならずコントラスト分解能も改善する可能性がある In 2020, lung cancer was the leading cause of cancer death worldwide with an estimated 1.8 million deaths Studies show that screening with low-dose CT for high-risk individuals can help diagnose cancer early, when successful treatment is more likely. Meet Silverbeam. Canon Medical's new solution for low-dose lung CT. Maintaining the detail of a CT at dose levels closer to an X-ray. Silverbeam selectively removes low-energy photons to reduce dose and optimize the beam energy. When combined with our advanced intelligent clear IQ engine, this beam-shaping energy filter harnesses the power of AI to deliver high resolution and low noise. For applications such as lung screening, Maintaining the detail of a CT at dose levels closer to an X-ray. This is Silverbeam. Only from Canon Medical. Made for life. The NIH has been working with Canon Medical on Silverbeam technology. Silverbeam is a filter that's applied to the X-ray spectrum to better visualize the lungs, but at the same time, reduce the X-ray dose, and to work in conjunction with deep learning reconstruction. So with Silver Beam, we're better able to see the lung parenchyma, the images are sharper, and there's less noise in the soft tissue. And we're now able to see 
more subtle details such as ground glass opacities, which can be difficult to visualize, and more accurately measure lung nodule sizes. And at the same time, reduce the noise, especially in the soft tissue. And overall, we're able to significantly reduce the radiation dose, which improves patient safety. Overall, I'm very excited by the silver beam filter. It improves image quality and it reduces the amount of image noise. What I'm most excited about is how much it's able to reduce the radiation dose while preserving overall image quality and diagnostic accuracy. I've had patients who are reluctant to come in for a chest CT because of the fears of radiation. However, now with the silver beam filter, that removes that barrier. And now we're able to offer ultra low dose chest CT for screening for lung cancer. And that's a game changer. We are very excited to bring you this new version of the Acryo One Prism Edition. We hope this addition will improve your ability to provide superior patient care with fast diagnosis and improved clinical competence. We thank you for taking time to join today's round.